What's going on, everybody? This is Naeem Real Time Chowdhury, keeping it real all the time. Video response. This goes out to my homeboy, Asim Khan, up in Ath oh, sorry, Augusta, Georgia, the home of the Masters. So basically, today, Real Time is going to be answering some of Brother Asim Khan's question up in Athens, Georgia. So Brother Asim asked me today, what are my thoughts on a couple of things in the sports world going on? And one of them was, what are my thoughts on Floyd Merriweather and his upcoming bout? First of all, let me say this. Floyd Merriweather, you're a bitch. You are a one weak, weak boxer. You know, so everybody, if you don't know the background about Floyd Merriweather, he's the one who's been ducking and diving out of the baddest man that's ever come out of Asia, which is Manny Pacquiao, Mr. Pac-Man. And Floyd Merriweather has done everything he can to basically, you know, not fight Pacquiao. You know, he, he, he's basically asked Pacquiao, you know, to take a blood test or performance enhancing, you know, uh, drugs that he's accused him of taking. And Pacquiao has passed all these tests and he's asking him to take a blood test, which is not even required by the boxing commission. So, I mean, to me... That doesn't really tell me a lot about Floyd Merriweather's heart, and basically he fears this fears this dude, and he's basically, if you ask real time, and real time keeping it real, this brother is just really scared to get beat up by a small Asian dude, and that's just being real. And he's going to be fighting this up-and-coming young guy. His name is uh, Victor, Victor Ortiz, or they call him Vicious Victor Ortiz. And, you know, he's made some noise in the boxing world. He uh, upset formerly undefeated champion uh, Andre Berto. And uh, it, should be, it should be a good fight. You know, uh, I'm, I'm going to take Vicious on this one because, you know, I just don't see uh, Mayweather being the same guy that he is because he was scared of nobody from what I remember back in the day. Next question was from Asim Khan. Wimbledon. <laughs> So everybody don't know, when, you know, real time. I watch a little bit of tennis. I used to play a little bit. I mean, I, I didn't make a lot of noise, but I mean, I have been watching tennis for the duration of my life. And uh, he basically asked, do you think Federer is done? And, you know, and basically what he's going to do. Well, to answer that Federer question, he was upset today in Wimbledon in the quarterfinals. So that answers that question there. But I would say never underestimate a heart of a champion. Federer is a champion. He's proved, you know, he's one of the best players in our generation. You know, he is at the tail end of his career, and basically what's, you know, I, th I think he got about a year or two left, you know, of really, really good competitive tennis, and you know what? Real Time says, I think Federer's going to win one more title before it's all done. So who's going to win Wimbledon? My choice is, Real Time's choice is, Novak Dijavic, if I can pronounce his name, that Serbian dude who has basically been tearing up the tennis world. This one boy had a 40... Six, I'm sorry, he had a 43 match win streak, you know, a couple years back. I mean, and he, you know, this guy's been really tearing it up. He got a pretty good game. Nadal, I think Nadal still got his game. But if you ask between uh, those two guys, I really think the Serbian is going to take it and it Wimbledon this year. And the last question is, what are my predictions for the ma for Major League Baseball? Real time, going to be real. Real time has really watched baseball after his. Houston Astros hasn't been doing so well, but my second team, the New York Yankees, are doing very well. So right now, we got a pretty good race in both leagues. In the AL, you know, what's going on right now, you got five, you know, teams in the wild card race. You got Boston at top, as usual, and then, you know, Tampa, game behind, and Cleveland and L.A., uh, the Angels right behind them, too, and then Detroit and Texas all leading the divisions. But I think New York, man, David Robertson has been the go-to guy for Joe Girardi. You know, uh, Jeter's been playing out of his mind. You know, everybody, you know, the Yankees, it really seems like they got everything together. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, basically they're going to take it this year and they're going to go all the way. Uh, and the NL men, I I'm going to go with Philly. Philly got the pitching. Uh, you know, they, they basically have been doing everything right. You know, you know, the wild card race, you got five teams right behind Atlanta. You got Arizona, St. Louis, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Washington, the New York Mets, you know, all with one game, two games, within five games separating each other. So 
it's, it's, it's pretty crazy race, but I think in the end, Philly has, you know, basically, you know, all the tools, and uh, I think they're going to take it. So, if any one of you guys have a question for real time and want a video response, hit me up at realtimenaeem at gmail.com. And of, of course, on the real time fan, uh, I'm sorry, the real time Facebook fan page. And uh, just hit me up, hit me up on comments. And thanks a lot, everybody. And uh, just want to say, keep it real. And shout out to Georgia, Augusta, Awesome Khan. Thanks for keeping it real.